I'm going to begin uh, just with a question about Sonia. I mean, it, I guess every actor will have that sort of one project they, they'll probably always look back to as being the one that they really felt gave them that, that great role to really show off their abilities. Is that, is that the one for you? Yes, I think so. It, it, quite early on, because I was actually casted, that was the first film I was casted for in 2012, so it's been postponed a couple of times and it's been like with me for a long time. And then I remember thinking, this is the dream part, that, like this is the character of my dreams, because it, like, it has a long uh, timeline, because I'm playing her like almost uh, like uh, in a line of 20 years. And, uh, and sh there's like so much darkness and so much light. It's kind of an extreme character. So I was like, oh, I got my dream character. This is very early. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now what do I like look forward to? But uh, I think like maybe the, the dream character isn't written yet. So it's. You, I guess in this industry, sometimes you just need someone to take a chance, don't yeah. you? Because I mean, I, there, there must be some brilliant actors and actresses out there who have just never been given yeah. a role. But I mean, so, so I, not, not, I'm not saying a lot of this is about luck, because a lot of it is it's mostly about talent. But at the same time, you do, you do need a gamble. Yeah. Really, don't you? Yeah, you need that one person who says like that there's something here and we should take this chance. And like, uh, I that's my experience as well. Like, uh, somebody did, and then all the other people are like, oh, her. And then you're suddenly like, when you're in casting, for, for example, uh, now they assume that I'm good instead of assuming that I'm nothing and then I have to prove myself. And like, when I go into the room and they assume that I'm good, I'm more relaxed and then I'm probably better, like a better actor. So everything kind of twirls up together. Like, yeah. I mean, it must be an incredible, I mean, it's an incredible achievement to be a shooting star. You must be so thrilled. Do you remember when you first heard the news, how you reacted? Yeah, uh, it was kind of strange because my, my agent had like uh, left me uh, a lot of uh, missed calls. Uh, so I was like, what, what's going on? Uh, because I had forgotten that they submitted me. Uh, and then I had this very strange SMS from a producer who said congratulations. I couldn't understand what they were talking about. And then I called her and she said like, yeah, you're a shooting star. <laughs> so then I was like, what does, yeah, great. What does it really mean? So, but I was really happy, yeah. Because I was sat in the room yesterday when you were going through your schedules and stuff and you realised this, this trip is not just about the red carpet and the celebration and lifting that, and picking up that award on stage on Monday. No. I mean, it's, it's a business venture in many ways. Yeah. I mean, tomorrow, how, how much, how excited are you and how big a deal is it to be sat in the room tomorrow with some of the, the greatest casting directors in, in, in the whole of Europe? Really? Sorry, no pressure. Oh, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying not to think that it's a very big deal. Oh, I mean, it doesn't mean anything, don't worry. No, because... Uh, 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 like uh, it's better to think that like it's it's going to be interesting and exciting to meet all these uh, interesting people that loves film and acting and uh, so I'm, I'm trying to focus on that part and not like uh, to feel that it's very important because then I, I, I think I'm going to get too nervous. <laughs> so has, has that been something you wanted to do from a very young age? Did you always know what you wanted to, to I decided do? when I was five. <laughs> In kindergarten, uh, we did this like folk play, like really amateur, like kindergarten theater. Uh, but I just, some it was like magic appeared. And then I ran to my mom and said I wanted to become an actress, and then I just yeah worked on. Uh, yeah. Well, yesterday we were asking everyone to give a sentence on their, why they love European cinema, yeah. and yours really stayed with me the most. I just wonder if you could repeat it and just elaborate on on what it is to the European cinema means to you. Yeah, uh, in the clip I'm saying I love it because uh, Europe has such a rich history, but it's constantly on yes. the move, and I think. Because uh, like this continent of Europe, it has like all of the countries are very different. We have some similarities, and uh, like our history is violent, and it's like filled with great art and like horrible wars. And uh, like we live like in the days we're living in now, we're living in this political climate which is changing really fast and quite frightening in many ways. Uh, so, like, it's a continent uh, which has uh, so many stories in it, um, and I think uh, I think the storytelling from Europe is interesting because we have all this history and all of this like current movement uh, at once. Yeah.
ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!